All right, let's practice division, completing tables. It's kind of like our in and out tables, okay? We have a rule that we have to follow, and then we fill in the table, okay? So the rule says we're dividing by three, okay? So if I take nine and I divide it by three, do I get three? I do. Okay, so we know that that works out. So what is zero divided by three? If I have zero objects to split between three friends, how many objects would each person get? I get zero. Okay, how about three divided by three? Three objects divided by three friends is one. And what is six divided by three? Or think to yourself, three times what equals six? It's two. Okay. So zero, one, two. Good job. Next one. We are still dividing by three. And let's check our one that we can have already completed is three divided by three, one. It is, so it checks out. Okay. What is zero divided by three? It is zero. What is six divided by three? Or think to yourself, three times what equals six? Two. And what is nine divided by three? Look at, we have a pattern. Zero, one, two. Is it three? Yes, it is. Good job. So zero, we have one, two, and three. Next up, this time we're dividing by one. Oh my goodness gracious, I love it. Anytime you use one, your answer, you just bring it over, okay? So three divided by one is three. Six divided by one is six, and eight divided by one is eight. I love those kinds of problems. Next one, this time we're dividing by two. When we're dividing by two, we're essentially splitting something in half. Okay, so let's check. Is 10 divided by two, five? Yes, it is, and if I'm not sure, think backwards. Is five times two, 10? Yes, it is. Okay, so what's zero divided by two? Zero. What's six divided by two? Three. And what's eight divided by two? Four. So we have zero, three, four, five. Next one. This time we want to divide by two again. Okay, let's check the one that's complete. So eight divided by two, does that equal four? If you're not sure, use the multiplication. Is four times two, eight? Yes, so we're good to go. What is four divided by two? It's two. I know that two times two equals four, so I use multiplication to help. What is six divided by two? That is three, because I know three times two is six. Okay, and how about 10? 10 divided by two equals five. Look, at we have a pattern. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, and five. Next, we are dividing by two again. Okay, and I circle the rule so it sticks out. Let's review and make sure that this one is correct. Is eight divided by two, four? It is because I know four times two equals eight. So what is two divided by two? Or what number times two equals two? It's one. How about six divided by two? Three, 
and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we have 1, 3, 4, 5. Good work. Next one, we're dividing by 3. Okay, let's check it. Is 9 divided by 3 equal to 3? Yes, it is. So what's 0 divided by 3? 0. What is 3 divided by 3? 1. And what's 6 divided by 3? 2. 0, 1, 2, 3. Next one, we're dividing by 3 again, okay? So is 0 divided by 3 equal to 3? If I have 0 pieces of candy to give to 3 friends, each friend would get 0 pieces. So is what is 3 divided by 3? 1. What's 6 divided by 3? 2. And what's 9 divided by 3? Look at we have a pattern forming. Do you think it's 3? Yes, it is, because I also know 3 times 3 is 9. So our pattern is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Next one, we are dividing by 2. So let's check. Is 8 divided by 2 equal to 4? Absolutely. So let's fill it in using that rule. What is 4 divided by 2? That's 2. What is 6 divided by 2? That's 3. And what's 10 divided by 2? 5. Do you see how we have a pattern again? 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, let's do one more. Dividing by 2, okay, is 6 divided by 2 equal to 3? Yes. So what is 4 divided by 2? Or, work backwards, 2 times what equals 4? It's 2. 8 divided by 2 equals what? Or, think, 2 times what equals 8? 4. Look at, we have a pattern going. Now, hopefully, this next one equals 5. Well, is 10 divided by 2, 5? Yes, it is. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5. Excellent job.